What's happening everyone? We've got a review on Papa Sangre 2, which is an adrenaline rushing immersive horror game. This game stars Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings. One does not simply walk into Papa Sangre. Now what's this app all about? You're dead and need to collect memories from all the other dead souls to return to the land of the living. Let's hit play and go into the first level here. You're going to have 18 fun levels. You start off and you plug in your headphones, close your eyes, and then use the gyroscope to move around, and it really feels like you're actually there. Papa Sangre and the Museum of Memory. Performed by you. You are dead. I'm afraid that's right. There is no game called Papa Sangre. You're dead. Everyone can see down here. I'll show you how. I'm stood to your right. Can you hear me in your right ear? So, you'll have to stand. On your feet. Stand up. Now. Turn all the way around. Slowly. 360 degrees. See the stone fountain? See that gramophone? You're here because you're dead. When you come... Now, that music is memory. One of my old ones, in fact. That's how memory sounds down here. If you want to get back to the world of the living, you'll need as much of that as you can find. So, turn so it's in front of you. Now generally I'd be playing this with the gyroscope and for this review we'll be using the touch controls and the speakers but for the best effects you should definitely use and try out the gyroscope plug in your headphones and play this game at night it'll definitely spook you up oh there we go so now we're, we're walking towards the memory so basically this is an audio only game as I speak over the game but this is an audio only game and uh, you'll be guided through audio you can close your eyes and play this game and you'll feel like you're there good now catch that piece over there now we've got to find the other piece well looks like we're getting close here the 3d audio sounds super fantastic there we go I hear it much louder now You're dripping. You should bear in mind there might be something inside a fragment, a little piece of life. So, go and get that next one. In the later levels, you'll be using your hands to get and break objects. I wish there was some sort of direction and instruction in the game at points when you get stuck, uh, but for the most part, I found myself passing the levels with no problem. So here I'm off to get another fragment, but I'll keep it at that. Bottom line, Papa Sangre 2 is one of those experiences that you can't pass up playing on an iOS device. I recommend everyone check it out, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below, as well as subscribing so you're notified of our future videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Alright, see ya.